Hey, I'm Joe Wanasek. I'm a pro mixer and the co-founder of NailTheMix.com, the coolest place to learn how to mix rock and metal music on the entire internet. Today, I'm going to break down one of the sickest mixes, Mudvayne Dig. I'm going to go through it, react to it. This is mixed by the legend Andy Wallace. Let's deconstruct this mix. Right out of the gate. Holy crap, that bass guitar is outrageously awesome sounding. Let's listen to that. Nice and bright, stands out. What a bold decision to just get your attention. Chug, chug, bing. <laughs> Oh my God, this intro is so good. All right, let's deconstruct that a, a bit because there's a lot that just happened right now. Like, holy crap, that's a lot of information to digest sonically. I love it. You know, you've got heavy chug guitars. The bass is just slapping the downbeats, popping the top. Uh, the bass is pretty bright. It's not distorted at all, which is nice. The floor toms are not super subby, I think, which is good, because even though they're like, you know, dun, dun, you could definitely get a lot of booming out of control in this there, which would be distracting to the ears. So, you know, he's probably got the toms gated or else they recorded a set of really tight floor toms. I don't have a tight ton of sub in them. They're a little bit more in the mid range. I think that was a smart decision because imagine it was like, doom, doom, you know, it was ringing out, just blowing out the thing. You'd miss the bing on the bass. So <laughs> this is like one of the most ridiculous songs in new metal and I just love it. It's so good. Okay, I love that part right there. You've got the <laughs> and the vocals and you have this like sliding guitar that's behind it. Listen to the volume. It just builds that tension. You come in with the double kick. Holy crap, that hits. You know what I love about this mix? It doesn't have the loudest kick drum or the most sub or the fattest bass or the brightest guitar or any of that stuff, but this mix, has the most energy out of almost any mix I've ever heard. It's like Andy Wallace is tapped into some kind of subconscious magic wizardry here with this song. I can't even explain it in terms of like actual quantifiable mixing terms. Like I said, if you listen to this, you know, you don't hear like the craziest kick drum. It's not the greatest sounding guitar. I mean, it's a good, it's a great guitar tone, but it's not like the most crazy standout guitar. Same with the bass. But my God, the pocket on this mix is just out of control. It is so damn good. It's insane. So the way this is balanced and EQ'd, he just tapped into some kind of special energy that like every time I listen to this, I'm just like, yeah, you know, I, I don't know why. Um, and I mean, I've seen this reaction just many, many times with people listening to this song. They just, this mix just has a way of getting you into it that ah, few mixes have. It's just like he, he's just tapped into a completely different level of mixing on this. All right, let's try to deconstruct this technically a little bit because my mind is blown by the wizardry that is Andy Wallace. All right, kick is actually kind of thuddy. It's not super thuddy. It's not super scooped. It's not like super knocky. It's kind of very natural. <laughs> You know, the snare is, it's not like one of those firecracker snares and some of the other artists here that we've talked about. Um, it's just a nice mid-range snare. It's very natural sounding. The drums are actually kind of buried into the guitars. Like the guitars are up a little bit and the bottom end of the guitar and the bass kind of just meld into this massive wall of sound. It's not like a super articulate or clean mix. definitely hear the kick is loud and it's driving but because it's not super bright it doesn't necessarily stand out you know like a modern metal kick would but it's just all click and sub and it sounds like larger than life but this kick really drives like just feel that yeah, I like how the guitar is not super bright. You know, it's not like shrill, it's not fizzy or hissy. It's kind of rolled off sounding and just just enough in the upper top end it just smashes with the top of that kick. 
The bass is so tightly locked. It's hard to hear the articulation, but you can really hear the top of the bass. It, me it melds so well with the top of the guitar in the mid range. It's, it's a cool mix because it's like the guitars have a lot of bottom in them. You know, the bass is there. It's not really scooped. It's very natural sounding. It's not very like aggressive on the top. Like a modern mix would have a ton of distortion on it. This doesn't, it's it literally just wall of sounds. You like the whole energy of those elements the kick, the snare, the bass, the guitar, they move as a whole. It's almost hard to discern them, even on really great speakers individually because they gel so much. And by that, I mean like, it's like taking a soup. You know, you can put a bunch of ingredients in a bowl, but it's not until you add the right amount of salt that all of a sudden the soup pops and it just tastes delicious. Like everything comes together. So that's what I feel like is Andy Wallace has just come on and found the perfect balance that gives this mix the salt that makes the mix pop and explode with energy. And it's it's just crazy the, how this mix feels. Yeah, listen to those kicks. Like they're not, you know, they're kind of like, two to three K they're not in terms of the attack. It's not very bright and they're not super subby. I mean, there's bass in them, but this song is so badass. Okay. Let's talk about vocals here for a second. What a way to start our, just a riff, you know, just a scream, a super loud, really dry, really up front, right up the middle. But there is stereo doubling on that. Listen to how wide that gets. There's definitely some stuff in there. Vocals are super loud in this mix, which I think really pushes the energy. Wow. Um, I love how dry these vocals are. They're, they sound wet and thick because they're doubled, right? There's a lot of like doubles to these. It's not just like a single screamed vocal, but you don't hear like a ton of delay. You don't hear a ton of reverb. That stuff obviously is in there or else it, the vocals wouldn't glue to the mix, but it's mixed in a way that it just sounds really raw and in your face. So pay attention to the effects on the vocals. The vocals are like all in the two to three K range. They're not very bright. They're not pinched, but they're definitely kind of like, that's the frequency focus. I love the little panning over there to the left side. That's a really cool trick. I mean, who does that in a verse? You know what I mean? Like you have all these stereo vocals and all of a sudden this rap part comes in. It's like, let's just put that off a little bit to the left. Back to the other side for a call and answer. I mean, that's a really interesting way to make this verse cool because normally most people would just put it right up the center. They would, you know, the call and answer and stuff and that would be it. But here we are playing with the panning space, left, right, left, right, bouncing on certain words. I mean, Andy Wallace makes this cool and fun to listen to and interest. it, interesting. It catches your attention. I think that adds to the energy. Hi-hat's kind of loud compared to like the snare and the kick, um, but it's not super bright. You know, it's very just natural sounding. Pretty rolled off. The guitars are kind of scooped in like the seven to 900 range. There's definitely a lot of scoop right there. The guitars have a, bo a lot of bottom end. They're not super bright, but they're definitely scooped in like 700. I just love those bold vocal decisions. It's so loud compared to the mix. And it's like, even these little guitar parts and stuff like that, they're not super loud. They pop out just a little bit. You know, it's like they, they jump up on the level, but the really thing that stands out is the vocals and that bass slap. It's kind of like they basically made that the theme of the song. I mean, obviously the video too. So it's branded brilliantly. Honestly, this mix has probably got the most energy I think I've ever heard in a mix. There's something that like when I crank this up and listen to it, it just gets me pumped like few other songs do it. Like I said, Andy Wallace is just completely tapped into another level of like consciousness with this. It just feels special. That's the only way I can explain it. It's it's like I can't even relate it on a technical level because my mind is blown so much. I'm ready to just get down and start headbanging. So. Let me know what you think of this mix in the comments below. I think it's phenomenal. I mean, again, it's Andy Wallace. Like, he's the GOAT. There's, there's just no denying how brilliant Andy Wallace is as a mixer. It's just, like, 
amazing. So please let me know what you think of this in the comments. Please click like and subscribe and smash the notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Joel Wanasek if you want to get uh, more mixing stuff, throwing out stuff all the time. That's super cool. Again, please check out nailthemix.com and thank you so much for watching.